Diwali. I'm from Columbia University. In this video, we'll be talking more in depth about the decision tree classifiers. In order to understand this video well, it will be better if you watched my previous video on KD trees first. In this video, we are going to study the decision tree classifiers. But before that, let us quickly discuss the space issues that we have in the KNN classification. So in KNN, we need to keep all the training data around during test time. So why so? Because after, uh, after navigating to a particular region, we ultimately need to compute the distance of the test point with the data points in that region. So we need the training data. But the question is, can we do without it? And the answer is yes. Instead of keeping all the training data, we can label the cells according to the majority class of the data in that particular cell. So say if a cell has five points and uh, four of them are red, we just label the whole cell as red. So if any test point lies in that particular region or that cell, the test point will get labeled as red. So the space requirement now reduces from the number of data points to the number of cells. So in summary, nearest neighbor is very simple and intuitive. It's a discriminative approach, so no dealing with probabilities, though we need to be careful when we are selecting the distance metric. And we already saw how, uh, how we can improve the basic speed and space requirements for the nearest neighbor. Now we come to classification with trees directly. Uh, so we learned about KD trees. But KD tree do not optimize for classification accuracy. Why? Um, because the KD tree optimize for the nearest neighbor to become good. So when we are a cl doing classification using KD trees, we are first finding the nearest neighbors and then looking at the majority uh, label of the of those nearest neighbors and then assigning the class. But if you want to do classification, is there a more direct way? Why do we first have to find the nearest neighbors and then do the classification? Why can't we do it directly? So that's why we have the decision tree classifier. So like in KD trees, rather than selecting an arbitrary feature or the feature with the maximum variance and splitting at the median, in decision tree classifier, we select the feature and the threshold that maximally reduces the label uncertainty. What do I mean by label uncertainty? Say we have this region or a big cell, so we can't really say whether uh, this uh, test point XT would be blue or red. Um, but if we choose this feature F1 or a long dimension d1 and say threshold t0 and divide the r data set at this threshold and feature we can say that since xt lies on the left side of the threshold there is a ch there is a high probability that it is red and if xt was on the right side of the threshold it would be blue so this is how we are reducing the label uncertainty. We know that towards the right, it would be blue and towards the left, it would be red. We can further reduce the uncertainty by uh, again, like choosing now feature two and threshold T1 and dividing here. So now if XT lies here, it will be red. If XT lies here, it will be blue. But how are we measuring this uncertainty? So to measure uncertainty in a cell, there are several criteria. First one we'll discuss is the classification error. It is a very simple one. One minus the maximum probability of amongst all the classes. So if we have a population of males and females and in a particular region, all of the people are men. So then uh, the uncertainty would be one minus one zero. So we have zero uncertainty because we know that it would if if there is another person, it would also be a man. So uh, this is one of the very simple uh, criteria. 
the most one of the most widely used criteria is the entropy and it has this interesting formula and it would be uh, nice to know uh, or have an intuition behind this formula so say we have a bucket with four balls uh, three of them are red and one of them is blue and we pick out balls in this order red 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 and blue so what is the probability of picking up balls in this order uh, 3 by 4 for the first ball 3 by 4 for the second ball we are picking up with replacement so uh, for the third ball also it will be 3 by 4 and for the red uh, and for the blue ball it would be 1 by 4 but since it is in fractions the answer would be very small so one way to avoid multiplication uh, is to use log so if we just use a log here uh, we get this log of 3 by 4 plus log of 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus log of 1 by 4 now if we normalize this term with the number of balls in the data set what do we get we get 1 by 4 into 3 log of 3 by 4 for these plus 1 by 4 log of 1 by 4 what is this this is the probability of the red ball this is the probability of blue ball and this thing looks so uh, so much like this thing we just add a summation and voila it's the exact same formula so putting it mathematically we need to find the feature and the threshold that reduces the uncertainty so if earlier the uncertainty was uc now the uncertainty of left cell plus uncertainty of right cell multiplied by some weighting of the left cell and some weighting of the right cell so how would our decision tree look decision tree would look something like the first node would have some feature and some value of threshold the data would be divided there would be some points here some point here if all of these points have the same class say blue so then we don't need to divide it further so we leave it as is and here if there are mixed labels blue and red we again find a feature and a threshold and keep dividing until uh, say we get uh, a pure buckets or the buckets which in which data elements have a single class or we can stop growing the tree at a particular depth so let us look at the some of the observations of the decision tree it is a greedy approach uh, we quickly run out of training data as you go down the tree uh, because we go down in log n steps. Uh, this is an interesting uh, observation. Tree complexity is dependent on the data geometry. How can we see this? Just by rotating the data, we get so many more splits and the tree becomes more complicated. decision tree example for spam classification again like feature and then deciding a value of threshold for that feature and dividing here we have all of them labeled as spam so we don't need to divide it further here we pick up another feature and decide on another threshold and keep dividing it